Hey guys, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and welcome back to the Doom 2 100% walkthrough for the PC. Played through Z Doom on the Ultra Violence difficulty. This is Map 8 Tricks and Traps. But before we get started, I'd like to give a special mention to something. On December 10th, 2013, will be the 20th anniversary of Doom 1. That's right, Doom 1 has been around for 20 years now. And for 20 years, we need a way to celebrate. Luckily, I found a way to celebrate. My buddy Ultima Mantoid of YouTube is going to be doing a 24-hour live stream of the Doom games from December 9th to December 10th. If I'm not mistaken, he's going to be playing through all four of the Doom games. So December 9th and December 10th, remember that date. I will put a link to his YouTube channel in the description below, as well as the live stream link that he'll be using to live stream the event. So mark that on your calendar, remember the link, and I will be there at the live stream. Well, I won't be in the live stream, but I will be watching the live stream for the whole 24-hour period, because this is a special occasion. Not only just a special occasion, but this is Doom, for goodness sake. This is a wonderful, wonderful video game. It deserves to be celebrated. I'm glad Ultima Mantoid is doing this for 24 hours. It's great. I'm really excited. I will be there December 9th and December 10th. Remember that date. Anyways, let's get to this video then. Map 8 Tricks and Traps. Alright, so... You start in a room with a bunch of doors around you, and there's two doors that require keys. There's the yellow door, and then there's the red door. To the left of the red door is the door we're going to go through first. And we'll kill this cacodemon right here. Now this Baron of Hell will teleport behind you, so be careful of that and be ready for it. And now we'll explore the area from where he came for a secret area. And now we'll open up the door to the left of that door now, right here. And we have a lot of Barons of Hell and a Cyber Demon. We're gonna let the Cyber Demon and the Barons of Hell fight it out to the death. Now once you enter this room and the door closes, you can't go back out. So it's a trap. What you want to do is try and get the Cyber Demon to infight with all of the Barons around him. Most often, the, the Barons will win. They'll kill the Cyber Demon. You just want to get in a position where you're behind some Barons. That way, if the Cyber Demon finishes off some Barons, he can take out some more for you. You also want to be careful at the bottom where that Soul Sphere is is a monster-only teleporter. If the monsters walk over that area, they will teleport in the start area. And that's never a good thing, so try not to let that happen. But if it does, it does. The Cyber Demon's dead, so now we'll use the Rocket Launcher and the Invulnerability to kill all the Barons. And you saw that Baron teleport to the right near that Soul Sphere. He will come through that door and try to cock block you from the side, so if they do teleport, be ready for that. We'll grab the Soul Sphere. You can save that Soul Sphere for later if you want to. We'll grab the yellow key over here and press this switch. That will actually open up the locked door so you can escape. And now we'll open up the door to the left of the Baron area. In this room, I just fire a shot in the room and let the imps come to me. I don't want to just rush inside this room because it's another trap. Because once you go inside, use your rockets to kill all of these imps down there. Once you cut down the number of them, you can jump down and use your super shotgun to finish off the rest.
and they're all dead, so we'll grab the shotgun shells and flip the switch that will open up a door so you can escape. Walk up to the wall and it will teleport you back here to the imp entrance. Alright, so with this all done, we're not going to open up the door to the left right now. We're done with the imp room, so find the yellow door. To the right of the yellow door is the door we're going to open up next. We have a lot of cacodemons. Flip the switch on the other side of the room that is critical for a secret area. They give us a plasma rifle, so let's use it here. You want to cut down the number of cacodemons with the plasma rifle. And once that number is down, you can then use the super shotgun. Just run around the room and avoid the cacodemons fireballs. It's not that difficult, it's just a little intimidating. All of these tomatoes. Alright, so everything's done. Now we'll open up the door to the right of the cacodemon room. And in this room, let's use some rockets on these demons. Just a few to cut down the number of them. And then we'll grab the string of rockets. Now when you grab the rocket launcher, it will raise up stairs to the demon area. Now up here, the left switch will open up the door out of this room so you can escape once you're done. The right switch will open up a secret area right here. Now if you flip the switch in the cacodemon room, that was the second door that was required. It's the calm before the storm, everybody. Once you step on this ledge, what you want to do, what I do, the walls open, fire at that face right there, and then run past the demons, fire at the Baphomet, grab the BFG, and there's too many pinkies here. That's why you want the BFG to cut down the number of them. Usually two BFG blasts takes care of most of them, and then you can just use the super shotgun to take care of the rest. Now what I'm going to do is actually save this soul sphere for later on, so I'm going to inch my way past it. And from here, you can actually take care of all the shotgunners without taking any damage. And then just grab the backpacks. You know, if you're careful enough, you can sneak inside this room and take care of everybody. Alright, so we're done with this secret area, so let's get out of here. To the right of the demon area is this door. Let's go through it. Now to the left and right are teleporters. You can take these if you want. They'll take you to the same area. But if you shoot this face right here, you get access to this teleporter, which will take you to a secret area. So let's go through it. Let's have our chain gun ready. Hop down to the platform below. Fire at the two faces on the pillars. That will open up the pain elementals. Oh my gosh, the pain elementals. Just use your BFG to find a cluster of the pain elementals and the cacodemons and then just kill everybody with it. If I haven't said it before, I'll say it now. I hate pain elementals. I hate lost souls. But everybody's dead, so just handle that area as best you can. Find the two passageways here. These are secret areas, so make sure to tag them both. Also, in this lava trench, find the specter that is running rampant down there. Now there's a red wall right here. You can actually open it up from up here if you're careful. Then run through it. Grab the radiation suit. Now there's three paths here you can take. The left, middle, and the right. The right path will take you to a teleporter, so we'll take the middle path first. Which will just take us to some weapons, or some ammo. The left path takes us to an invisibility. And the right path will take you to a teleporter, which will take you to this area again, where you can grab the box of bullets on the teleporter. Now that we're done with this terrible room, let's go through the teleporter here, which will take us back to the imp room. We have the yellow key, so let's go through the yellow door now. Another calm before the storm. Once you grab the red key, have your BFG ready. Go to the right side corner and fire at the Baron of Hell, then grab the invulnerability he was protecting. 
and then you can just mow through all the imps and the Baron of Hell over here, the other one. The invulnerability really helps out a lot in this area. Now press the switch. This switch will actually raise up the floor because it it went down when you grabbed the red key. All right, so there's the red door, but we're going to go and backtrack to that soul sphere that I saved. That's why I saved it, so I could come back for it later on. Now we can go through the red door, which has a final trap behind it. Once you step on these pillars there, they will lower and they will not raise up ever again. So if you fall down there, you're trapped. What you could do instead is run on that first pillar, then run backwards. And when you're back in this room, go into the Cacodemon area, and this teleporter will open up, which will actually take you to the other side of the pillar bridge. So that's in case you mess up or you want to decide to take the easy way. But see how fast you have to go to make it across? I would recommend taking the teleporter if you're not good at running and turning. But that's it. That's tricks and traps. Oh my gosh, what to say about this map. It's fun, it's challenging, and it's the perfect balance of fun and challenging. They give you ample abilities to take care of every room. They give you rockets, they give you invulnerabilities, they give you the BFG. It's fun! It's not unfair in the slightest bit. I love this map. When you think of a map that's fun in Doom 2, Tricks and Traps always comes to mind, at least in my opinion. This is one of the better maps in Doom 2, and there are a lot of good maps in Doom 2, but this one is high up there for being a wonderful map. They also give you two soul spheres. You don't have to use them every time you walk in the room. You can save them for later usage, but remember that they give you two of them, so there's plenty of health to go around. Not to mention a handful of medikits and stim packs as well. Aside from that, there's not much else to say. The only room I don't really care for really is the pain elemental trap, but then again, they used monsters in other rooms, so why not pain elementals then, I guess, but... <laughs> pain elementals are never a good thing. Thankfully, I have the BFG when I take care of them. Anyway, that's Tricks and Traps. Let's move on to the next map in our series of Doom 2, which is a map I don't really care for all that much. Map 9, The Pit. You'll see why I don't care for it in the next video. It's just not a map that really stands out for me. And it's just not that fun. Anyway, I'm Big Mac Davis. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.